and today with the Minix Zero, which is a mini computer different from everything that we have seen so far. Now, if you ask me if it's lightweight, it's not. Just take a look at the size of the heat dissipator right over here, which is all this area. Quite heavy, a solid block of metal. But the big question is, does the CPU inside will be able to keep the performance while being tortured at maximum and we are going to find out on this video now it comes with windows 11 pro and if you are watching this video on your windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and besides windows 11 pro if you are looking for windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below the minix zero features the intel quad core n100 it has 16 gigabytes of ddr4 ram memory and it has 512 gigs of ssd now we can upgrade the memory and the ssd and it's as easy as just removing these four screws right over here on the bottom one of the things that i did find really interesting as well is that when we remove the bottom cover we will find a solid block of metal that will help to dissipate the heat that comes from the motherboard and in this particular case instead of just dissipating heat on the top we will also have heat dissipating right here on the bottom now in terms of the upgradeability we will be able to upgrade up to 32 gigabytes of ram and up to 4 terabytes on the ssd which usually we can only upgrade up to 2 terabytes on this kind of machine so the minix zero is one of the latest machines giving us the ability to upgrade up to 4 terabytes down the road if we want to now it also has these two sma antennas to have a better wi-fi performance two hdmi 2.1 ports at 4k 60 hertz one 2.5 gigabit ethernet port which is great to see right over here and this is coming more common and common in terms of these machines it's not on all of them at this moment but really happy to see it right over here on the minix machine now besides the ethernet port it has two usb 2.0 and a dc in on the other side one micro sd slot one usb type c 3.2 generation to 10 gigabit and two usb type a 3.2 generation 2 one combo 3.5 millimeter jack for audio output and microphone and also a power button if you want to take a look at the accessories that come inside the package just go to the end or wait till the end of the video where i will share a little bit of the unboxing so that you have an idea and now let's take a look at some numbers so that we can remember of what the n100 is able to achieve starting with the disk speed test first of all and by the way all the tests are done with the components that come with the computer so no upgrades right over here on the testings that i did in terms of speed test we were getting 1500 megabytes per second on writes and 1770 on reads which is a great speed for a machine such as this in terms of geekbench we were getting 254 on single core score and 884 on multi -core core score cinebench 52 on single core and 164 on multi-core score so in line with other results that we have seen on other computers with the intel n100 but the big question is not if it would keep up while doing a benchmark or doing a task it is if it can keep up while being tortured and before we go there if you are asking yourself okay robert what can i do with that machine and one of the questions that i do get asked a lot for this kind of computer is can i edit videos and the answer is yes and no i would say yes if you are editing a small clip or something like that that you take on your holidays and you want to play around then totally fine just download an easy software to use like CapCut or something like that you will be fine if you want to use it for editing videos like i do right over here on a daily basis with tools that are demanding then the answer is no if you want to do some photoshop edits of your photos 
great. If you want to do crazy layers of Photoshop with filters and so on and effects, uh, no. So this is the balance that we will find on this kind of machine with this kind of performance. Where these computers are great is if I want to do some office productivity like Excel, PowerPoint or anything similar, then it will be be just awesome internet browsing at 4k dual monitors if i want to emails and if i want to play multimedia or even if i want to do a plex server or mb server where i want to store all my movies and i want to have it on the living room and using it as a silent server and at the same time a player then this is where the computer will shine no worries whatsoever even if we want to play some games not demanding games but light games like asphalt extreme asphalt 9 and similar games then we will be more than fine and this is the kind of the scenario that this computer is great because in terms of a small budget a small computer we will have a lot of possibilities but this for those that follow the channel you already new now does it keep up i did stress all the four cores at 100 percent about three hours more or less and it reached a maximum temperature of 79 degrees celsius and this was the first value that i was not expecting to be so low i was expecting to be hitting about 90 to 95 degrees celsius on a maximum of 105 which is the maximum that we know that these kind of cpus support but it didn't reach more than 79 degrees celsius which is just awesome now we can also see that it did keep up with a stable 2.6 gigahertz which is far from the base clock which is 800 megahertz now it's not going to give us the 3.4 turbo boost maximum while we are doing the four cores at 100 that is almost impossible on any machine that we have but 2.6 gigahertz is a great speed and with absolutely no thermal Throttle. One other curiosity that I had was, okay, so what is the temperature on the surface while we are torturing this machine? And what I did measure was on a ambient temperature of 24 degrees, more or less, the surface of the computer reached 55 degrees. So the sticker that we see during the unboxing makes total sense because this is not a comfortable temperature to put our hand actually we need to be careful it will not burn us but it's uncomfortable so just make sure that you put the computer on a place that you don't need to be uh, moving around especially if we are taxing the computer if we are with the computer on idle then no worries whatsoever but at 100 percent during three hours it gets pretty warm so in conclusion we have a mini computer with a spectacular performance which will not let us down if we use intensive tasks and if we push it to the maximum actually we have done several projects and one of which is removing the ssd or just remove windows completely and install prox mocks and then we can install a lot of virtual machines including windows and if we go that route then we can take full advantage of this computer on a completely different scenario forget games forget office forget productivity just server side things that we have seen right over here and i will leave some links down below just in case you want to check them out just next to the links for the minix zero that being said hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one <music>